Okay, guys. Um, we are back on the Can't Twist uh, program. Am I in the picture? <laughs> it's nice with this new camera. I can actually see the image on the front side of the camera. So we removed um, the screw from the can't twist frame. And it was suggested to me by Steve at Shark River um, that I could have um, hacksawed this screw and not and would not and therefore would not have had to uh, grind these rivets off. And um, I'm sure this is galvanized so I was thinking there's a little spot of weld on here might um, get that back to uh, you know, a working order. But here's our piece. Um, so far I have this piece of copper here. And I'm going to look through. It almost doesn't look like copper. It almost looks like aluminum bronze. Um, I'm going to look a little deeper into my old projects and see if I can't find um, something that I know is copper for sure. Um, there's no doubt there's copper in this, but uh, it feels oily, you know, like it's impregnated. So. Uh, I think that would be a horrible uh, waste of material to use that as a screw. Um, I do have uh, I do have a nice copper copper rod here but um, I use that to I use that as a to push my uh, collets out of the spindle so that's going to stay with the draw bar quite proud of that draw bar um, let's take a look at that So I got some tubing, and I believe I threaded, yeah, that's threaded for a, a collet, uh, it's a kind of a drive hammer type situation here. This is a one kilo dumbbell, which uh, draws the, uh, draws the collet closed. The closer, and uh, this is just kind of a uh, kind of a locking. I wonder if the picture is gone now. I can't no longer see the image. I wonder if this is a shot. What do they call that nut? Jam nut. So that's basically just a part that I'm using as a jam nut. Is that even in the picture? There's all the things I was just talking about in case they didn't make it. But uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, Quite a piece. Oh. And it's heavy. That's some very thick walled, very thick walled material. So I guess I'm going to turn the camera off and see if I can't find a piece of copper because that's, I'm, I'm more and more convinced that that's aluminum bronze. Um, I, uh, I made a change in the shop that uh, I've been putting it off for a long time because uh, I thought if I did this, I'd probably never go in the house again. And well, already I hardly ever go in the house. I share meals with my wife. 
And, uh, and that was bringing the TV out of my bedroom and mounting it here in the shop. So, uh, here we go. So I'm going to try to light this screen up. It's out. Okay, there it goes. So, uh, that's Sleeper Dude. It's pretty comical stuff. Good family entertainment. So, let's get this thing back over here. So, I'm going to go through some things and see if I can't find, uh, I thought I was all set to start this, but I think you guys would have my ass if I, if I, you know, wasted this aluminum bronze on, uh, on a screw. And I could go to the hardware store and get some all thread or threaded bar, or, but, um, as I heard Haxby maybe say, what's the fun in that? So I could also use a die on my material, which I don't have. And rather than going and buying one, we're just going to single point thread the whole length of that screw. So, like I said, I thought I was ready to start this, but uh, apparently not. So, let me bring you back after I go through my, uh, some of my past projects. Maybe I can uh, sacrifice something and turn it into something new. All right, guys. <laughs> Never quite sure how to how to do this in the part. Some people go like this. Ah, okay. Well, um, that's brass anyway. I got all the brass I could possibly desire to do this, but don't want to use brass. So I got this piece of steel. In my most recent thing I machined and it's uh, the only description of it was um, low carbon and uh, I'm going to chuck that up and I'm going to use um, I'm going to use some of my uh, newly acquired oh I'll turn you around and around and around my newly acquired tools I got at the, um, at the bash. Sorry about all the camera movement. But uh, we'll start with the. Uh, I got um, five of these uh, brazed carbide cutters for a dollar. And uh, here is an example of the large radius. And there's. And then I have a smaller radius and a, uh, a chamfering tool. And uh, let's see. If I look at this head on, it's going to the right, so that makes that a left handed tool. So I have a, both a left-handed and a right-handed, um, just a, I guess, I don't know, just a turning, turning tool. So I need to machine this down to, um, I think it's three eighths. I'm going to go ahead and go with, uh, the live center on this end. Why am I doing that? Because I don't like the looks of this one. It's it's gigantic. Well, well we're gonna go with this end. So maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see how much I can get to stick out here. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, go ahead and face that off and shrink that a little bit. And we need to get about six inches. Uh, maybe it's, uh, oh yeah. yeah, every bit of, uh, every bit of six inches. I got a flexible scale here. That's, it's not really a flexible scale, but it'll flex. So let's put the number one down here and bend that around. And it is five and a quarter. So we'll face this off and we'll get this thing turned down and I'll experiment with the speeds and feeds and try to get a decent finish on that. And uh, I'll, first I'll try just using this tool. And um, I may have to resort to, uh, to trying some different, different tools. Okay. Let's fire it up. All right, let's give that position a try. We're fired up there. Let's do. Uh, let's start out at 314 RPMs. B1. <laughs>
still a pretty shitty finish. Um, let me go ahead and get my length now. Let me pull you back. I think I mentioned in the opening I uh, made a little upgrade to the shop. Five and a half. Boy, that thing is hot. What did I determine I needed? I needed five and a quarter. So. Let's go ahead and do. Uh, Three quarters. up there and let's move the camera around I don't know if you notice a little smoke there at first but uh, it's a brand new light bulb in here so um and see where my my five and a half is gonna lay okay so if I leave it where it's at I should be doing a spring pass over this and then we'll take this on down let's get a measurement on that to start with Okay, there's a good zero on there. Six hundred and seven. I need to be at three seventy five. So let me um, do a little faster feed. Ten thousandths per revolution. Like I said, there's a spring pass there, actually. Actually, let's, um, Let's not do that. Let's actually make a cut. You know what? I need a... Oh, I need a... Uh, more of a tapered nose. Cause I, might, I can't get my tool in there. Let me just uh, start gouging right here.
it's about a 60 thousandths. And I have no idea what the next shoulder is going to be. I'll get the right handed tool and go ahead and take this side down. This is about um, 65 thousandths. The relief I cut in there is a little under what I want to be. It's about 169 thousandths. So this way I'll be able to cut all the way to the end. And that cutter seems to be doing fine. And like I said, I'll be able to go all the way to the end with that. is my target. 449. Okay, I'm gonna let that cool down. I'll do a little more with it. I got I gotta finally put a light bulb in here. Quite bright. I think it's a 200 watt. It's smoking the paint on the inside of that reflector. See how it, we'll just have to watch it. It'll only be on while I'm standing here. Yeah, that's probably a little too much. Probably a little too bright. That whole housing is uh, don't touch. Okay, here's my uh, piece ready to go. I got this chamfered for the start. And that end is going to uh, be these details here. And um, I'll have to uh, do this end piece separate unfortunately but that'll be okay I'll screw that in and it'll uh, the tighter the clamp goes the tighter we'll get that attached somehow I need to hacksaw that nut off there 
need to cut those threads. So I'm going to go with the uh, index. Uh, there we go. The index cutter. I think it's uh, 16 threads per inch. So we'll get set up to do that and um, need to come back and see the next video to, uh, to see the threading. Okay, I really wish I had some copper material, but maybe this is good that I got to call this a piece of practice stock. I made this little wrench here for my tool holders and uh, oh, I had it in there and it started coming undone and there's actually a set screw there and um, so I filled that thing with a JB weld with a syringe and stuck that thing back in there and clamped it down I'm thinking about maybe a screwdriver on this end or a hex for taking the inserts out of the holder but that mounts right here on my uh, tool holder kind of uh, kind of handy came over to the mini lathe and um, put in a tool it's a two flute, it's carbide. I don't know what kind of tool it is, or what it's used for, how fast I should run it, any of that stuff. I don't know if it's sharp or not. But I got a piece of steel blocked up here. And uh, what I want to do is make a female dovetail here. Uh, just to not for anything particular, but just to make a dovetail and I'm going to uh, Be hooking up my DR my uh, travel gauge here on my uh, On the lathe. so this magnetics You know, I gotta get some new magnets Usually two magnets behind here one magnet on this face Let's go down here and basically, the magnet here on the carriage grabs this and uh, it marks my travel so I can make accurate cuts with the mill cutter. I'm probably going to um, unhook the uh, Unhook the uh, this thing, the RPM gauge meter. There's the readout, and um, I'll probably get that mounted back up uh, to the mini lathe. Magnet goes here on the spindle here. There's probably one there already. Yep. And the uh, the reader mounts in the, in here. And I'll go on and then we um, velcro the velcro the clock face uh, actually it velcros up here so there's a little uh, little sneak peek of, uh, of the future Okay, like, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. I appreciate the new subscribers coming along. And um, we'll see you next time. And I'm going to do this thing that they do on other channels. We'll see you next time.